think they'll come back. Of course they will. It's just a big person. Something about it. So what it be?
still alive, are you? Go on, then. It'd better I'll be here. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll break your back stuffing all that in your satchel. I'll be thankful you got that much. I reckon I can find a buyer. Is that all? Clive. Is something the matter, Karen? You seem... perturbed. Do I know? How clever of you to notice. But yes, someone's come to my attention. And I'll be damned if I know what to make of it. Go on. It's probably quicker if I just show you. Here. Some sort of crystal. Though, I don't remember seeing one that color before. Aye, well, that makes two of us. In all my long years of trading, both over and under the counter, I've never seen anything quite like it. They're calling them dusk crystals, on account of colour. I see. And they could be used to cast magics? That they can. Just like their brighter, shinier cousins. Differences? They don't last as long. After a couple of goes lighting your pie, they crumble away to nothing. That's how I heard about them. From crystal traders moaning that someone's been flooding the market with dodgy goods. And after asking the right people the right questions, and paying the right price, of course, I managed to get my hands on a sample. Hmm. I see why you're perturbed. I hope. Do you feel that, Clive? Yes. Right, lads, that'll do for today. I said that'll do for today. Yes, Chief. Yes, Chief. Let's get this lot back to town, fill our purses and then our bellies. What did you two do now? Oh, 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 oh. Please tell us you bought another London. Stay calm, both of you. Who needs a London when you've got one of these? work for a single spark. Well, 
There'll be no more sampling the merchandise today. That sounded close, Chief. Really close. Really, really close. Now, lads, what am I always telling you? Good things come to those who run. Wait for us, Chief! I've never felt a tremor this far inland before. Me neither. But then, I'd never seen skies like these till a few moons ago, and it's been all change ever since. Come to think of it, the first anyone ever heard of these dust crystals was after you lot came back from the Dominion and brought this bloody weather with you. Do you think the two things are connected? Who knows? Could just be that with Drake's tail gone, the black market was running short of the good stuff. The Dominion's mines were the only source of new shards left in storm after a certain evil outlaw decided to do away with the other mothers. And with the price of decent crystals going through the roof, traders turned to dealing in stuff they'd never have touched before. The question is, who's selling these crystals and where are they? Wait. This color. They couldn't be from origin, could they? No, that wouldn't make sense. I saw it form in the sky, and that was long after we returned from the Dominion. But if they didn't come from origin or any of the other mother crystals, then. Does that mean. That you missed one? Aye. Oh, yeah. That were my thinking, any road. Another Mother Crystal we didn't know about. I'll speak with Joshua. If you're right about this, we need to find it. And quick, I'd say. On account of which, I'll take this shard over to Tomes for you. Get him to give it a once-over, guess it rings any bells. Right. Thank you. And I expect you'll be wanting Jill's help with this, too. Right again. I will. Let me go and find Joshua, and we'll meet you in the shelves. Joshua, we need to talk. Karen's caught wind of something that I don't think we can afford to ignore. Aye, that is troubling. Not least because the Undying made no mention of these dusk crystals in any of their recent reports. So they weren't aware of them either? Perhaps. Or perhaps they merely deemed them unworthy of my attention. Wrongly, I might add, for I am inclined to share Lady Karen's misgivings. Then we'd better take her advice and consult Hippocrates forthwith. To the shelves, then. With our combined insight, I'm sure we'll discern something of use, be it no more than a place to start. Let's hope so. There you are. I've taken the liberty of telling these two everything I told you. Thank you, Karen. It's hard to believe such a lusterless shard could conjure much of anything. And you truly think this came from a mother crystal? One we never knew existed? Every other shard in the twins did. Why should these dusk crystals be any different? Dim, though they may be. 
We know they first appeared on the black market shortly after Ultima Car's primogenesis, darkening the skies. So might the two be connected? Could the spell have created a new Mother Crystal, perhaps? A replacement for the ones we destroyed? What do you think, Hippocrates? I think there may well be a connection. Yet, if we are to believe that the original Mother Crystals were of Ultima's making, does it seem likely that he would have need of anything so palpably inferior? No. I hazard that it was not Ultima who created these crystals, but humanity. More specifically, our fallen forebears, whose wonders litter the land even now. Legend holds that the fallen challenged the gods in order to win their power, and came tantalizingly close to doing so. It seems only reasonable that they should wish to learn the secrets of the crystals which the gods bestowed upon them. So they could make their own? Precisely. You may recall that the tale of the sins of Zemeckis begins with the Colloquy of the Sages, a council wherein humanity sought to uncover the last secrets of the gods before waging their war to learn what little remained. It is perfectly possible that an understanding of how to craft crystals was among their many achievements. Among their many achievements prior to their fall. <laughs> Indeed. The same enlightened souls forged great and terrible weapons called the Iconoclasts, from which icons derive their name, and turned them against each other in the Magitek War, a pointless conflict which served only to make its victors more confident of their right to supplant the gods on high. And when at last they ventured to do so, the resultant imbalance in the ether is said to have been so great that the skies themselves turned black and began to boil. The first recorded RK sky, I suspect. Which brings us back to the matter at hand. It is my belief that these shards are the product of a long slumbering Magitek mother crystal, stirred to life by a similar etheric upheaval to the one which accompanied its creator's fall. There's only one way to know for sure. We track down whoever's selling them and find their source. Karen. Where did you buy this one? Down in Port Isolde when I was scratching around for supplies. Since the Imperials buggered off and took the tariffs with him, you can find all sorts of interesting stuff on the docks. Go and have a chat with the mercenaries guarding the gaze. Your uncle's got some good lads there. You know when to keep a watchful eye and when to turn a blind one. Oh, and take the crystal with you. Might be your key to the underworld. Thank you. I will. Shall we then, brother? I'm coming too. If there is another Mother Crystal out there and it's anything like the others, you'll need all the help you can get. I was hoping you'd say that. One more time then. Together. think that thing is. Slow down! <laughs> Not bloody likely! <sighs> Fuck me! They're fast on their feet. Well, it's 
going on here, I wonder? What indeed? Let's ask. Excuse me. Who were those men just now? Bloody troublemakers, that's who. As soon as I asked them to present their packs for inspection, they turned white as a sheet and lead did. I chased them all the way from the gates, but they're swift as hares. Still, at least we kept the bastards out. Don't need their kind stirring up any more strife. And what manner of strife have they been stirring up, exactly? Hey, Are you joking? This business with the crystals? Sorry, we've been away for a while. What's been going on? All right, I'll humor you. After the paltry rations the Imperials left behind dried up, folks started trading crystals out in the open. We turned a blind eye at first. Lord Byron's orders. Way he saw it, it went right to deny people the one thing they were all clamoring for. Till the dust started turning up, that is. Dusk crystals, they're called. Ill-favored shards that crack as soon as you look at them. Not that the folk who bought them by the bucket load knew that. And they were baying for blood when they found out. In the end, his lordship had to step in and ban the blasted things. And we've been searching the pack of every trader who's darkened our gates ever since. I see. And you think the men you were pursuing might have been trading in these dusk crystals? Why, you're in the market for some. Anyway, I wouldn't rule it out. In fact, I put a few gill on it. We might still be able to catch them. We might. If you are heading up that way, you'll want to keep your sword handy. It's more than dodgy traders plying the roads these days. Understood. We'll be careful. If those men were selling dusk crystals, I think it's unlikely that they will risk returning to Port Isolde. Which means this might be our only chance of catching them. This isn't at all foreboding.
They were making a good pace. Another one. 
Still no sign of those traders, though. No. I just hope we haven't lost them. These blimmin' tremors are scaring off all our customers. <laughs> the few that weren't scared off by the skies, you mean? Yeah. Perhaps one of those merchants has seen something. Forgive me, but did you happen to see three men in robes pass this way? Yeah, I seen them. <laughs> Poor bastards. What do you mean? A gang of nasty-looking brutes was on their trail. Caught up with them just up the road, screaming at them they were, your crystals are your lives and all that. Only the daft buggers kept their crystals and legged it. In which direction, out of interest? Up that way. Towards the old hilt docks. If it's help they seek there, they won't find any. But perhaps they might find a place to hide. Let's hope so. And that we can find them before their pursuers do. Thank you. And please, take care on the road. Come on. They're no good to us dead. Lead the way, brother.